Hi, welcome to another video. So, Claude 3.7 Sonnet just dropped, and honestly, it's pretty amazing. Like, Anthropic has been doing some really cool stuff lately, and Claude 3.7 Sonnet is no exception. It's super powerful, really fast, and the reasoning capabilities are just next level. Anyway, today I thought I'd show you guys how you can easily create your own AI agents using Claude 3.7 Sonnet with Vector Shift. Now, if you've watched my previous videos, you probably already know that Vector Shift is one of my favorite tools for creating AI agents because it's super intuitive, has a drag and drop interface, and you don't really need to code anything, which is always great. But if you're new here, don't worry. I'll walk you through everything step by step, and by the end of this video, you'll have your own AI agent powered by Claude 3.7 Sonnet up and running. All right, let's jump right into it. First things first, you'll need to sign up on Vector Shift. They have a free plan, which is honestly pretty generous, and should be enough for most of you guys to get started. Once you're signed up and logged in, you'll land on the dashboard and you'll see a bunch of options like pipelines, knowledge bases, chatbots, and more. Now, the main thing we'll be working with today is pipelines. Pipelines are basically workflows where you can visually design how your AI agent behaves, what it connects to, and how it responds to user inputs. So, let's create a new pipeline. Just click on the New button, and you'll see some pre-built workflows but for now, let's just select the blank canvas option to start fresh. Once you're in the canvas, you'll see a bunch of blocks on the left side. These blocks are basically the building blocks of your AI agent. You can drag and drop them onto the canvas and connect them to create your workflow. Let's start simple and create a basic chatbot using Claude 3.7 Sonnet. First, drag in an input block. This block is basically where your user input will come from. You'll notice that the blocks have been updated recently, and now they're even easier to use. The outputs and inputs are clearly labeled, which is super helpful. Next, we'll need to connect this input to Claude 3.7 Sonnet. To do that, drag in the LLM block from the left side. Now, when you click on the LLM block, you'll see a bunch of options like OpenAI, Perplexity, Open Source Models, and Anthropic. Since Claude 3.7 Sonnet is from Anthropic, just select the Anthropic option, and you'll see Claude 3.7 Sonnet listed there. Just select it, and you're good to go. Now, we need to pass the user input to Claude. To do this, click on the input text box in the LLM block, type two curly braces, and you'll see the available inputs pop up. Just select input one dot text, or whatever your input block is named, and it'll automatically connect the user input to Claude. You can also add a system prompt here if you want to customize how Claude behaves. For example, you can write something like, you are a helpful assistant specialized in answering questions about technology or whatever suits your use case. Once that's done, let's drag in an output block. This block will basically show the response from Claude to the user. Again, just click on the output text box, type two curly braces, and select LLM.response to connect Claude's response to the output block. And that's it. You've just created a basic chatbot workflow using Claude 3.7 Sonnet. Pretty easy, right? But let's not stop there. Let's make this AI agent a bit smarter by adding some integrations. One of the coolest things about Vector Shift is that it has a ton of integrations like Notion, Slack, Discord, Google Sheets, and more. Let's say you want your AI agent to have access to your Notion notes. Just drag in the Notion integration block connect it to your workflow, and configure it to query your notes 
based on user input. To do this, drag the Notion block onto the canvas and connect your input block to the Notion block. Then, configure the Notion block to search your notes based on the user's query. After that, connect the Notion output to Claude 3.7 Sonnet by adding it as context in the LLM block. Now, Claude will have access to your Notion notes and can answer questions based on that context, which is super useful. You can also add conditional logic to your workflow. For example, let's say you want certain queries to go to Claude while others go to a different LLM or integration. Just drag in an if-else block, configure the conditions, and route the queries accordingly. This way, you can create really powerful and customized AI agents that handle different tasks efficiently. Once you're happy with your workflow, just click on Deploy Changes, and your pipeline will be saved. Now, you can export this pipeline as a chatbot automation, search, or form. Let's select Chatbot for now. After selecting Chatbot, you'll be prompted to enter a name and configure how your chatbot looks. You can customize the colors, avatar, welcome message, and more. Once you're done, just click Deploy, and your chatbot will be live. Now, you can integrate this chatbot anywhere embed it on your website, use it via API in your own applications, or just chat with it directly from Vectorshift. It's super flexible and easy to use. Apart from chatbots, Vectorshift also lets you create knowledge bases, voice bots, bulk jobs, portals, and evaluations. For example, you can upload your own documents to create a custom knowledge base that your AI agent can reference. Just upload your files, and your AI agent will have instant access to that information, which is pretty awesome. You can also create voice bots that use Claude 3.7 Sonnet to handle voice interactions, which is great for customer support or virtual assistance. The possibilities are really endless. Overall, Claude 3.7 Sonnet combined with Vectorshift is a super powerful combo. Claude's advanced reasoning and large context window make it perfect for creating intelligent AI agents, and Vectorshift's intuitive interface makes it accessible to everyone, even if you're not a developer. The recent updates to Vectorshift have made it even easier to use, with clearer variable referencing and improved block connections. It's honestly never been easier to create your own AI agents. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.